one, two, three. Cougars! The COC's women's tennis team had a successful season this year. They won the Western State Conference going 12-0 and 13-3 and overall. With this record, the Cougars made the playoffs for the first time in the program's five-year history. But after such a hard-fought season, it can be hard to shift focus for the playoffs. It was a big day for not only us, but our whole team, and um, it was something to be proud of coming into it. There were a lot of nerves because, you know, we wanted to do well for our team, for us, and we just wanted to get further along. Um, but overall, I think we did the best we could, and we had fun out there. Unfortunately, nerves played a factor in the match. COC fell to number four ranked Desert 6-3. The Cougars received some points due to the fact that Desert was shorthanded. They forfeited number three doubles and number six singles. Lauren Hanna was a straight sets victor, defeating Desert's Kimberly Jimenez and was the only player point for the Cougars. Nerves weren't the only factor in COC's loss last Tuesday. The weather also made its case to be an obstacle. Well, it was like hurricane winds. So it was difficult for both teams. And actually, when you're playing better people, it's kind of an equalizer. The ball doesn't bounce clean and it moves all over the place and it never really feels like you hit it very well. Despite the playoff loss, the team is still happy with the results of this past season. Something to be extremely proud about and it's something I wake up and think about every day that I'm on that team that uh, was undefeated and 12-0 and, and you know what, we all deserve it. We all worked hard. We went on the tennis court every day put hours into each forehand, backhand, serves, volleys, um, and so, yeah, we're just super proud. After such a successful season, it can be tough to replicate it year after year. Coach Patty understands this and is ready to try new things this offseason. And I have a summer class for the first time, so hopefully a lot of the girls will be taking the summer class and playing year-round instead of picking it back up in August. For Canyons News, I'm Daniel Rios.